Hey guys, welcome to question MM405 of the Maths Methods Fortifier Study Guide. So in this question we've got Addison, who plays football every Sunday. Now his ability to kick a goal depends on how windy it is. If it's a windy day, his chance to score a goal attempt is 2 and 7. If it's not a windy day, his chance to score a goal attempt is 3 and 4. During the football season, there's a 60% chance of strong winds on any given day. Now, our first task is to find the probability that Addison kicks a goal on any given Sunday, assuming that he only attempts one goal. Alright, awesome. So, first things first is to recognize that this is conditional probability, alright? Because one event happening depends on the other one, right? So, his ability to score depends on whether it's windy or not. So, as soon as we see, or as soon as we recognize that it's conditional probability, what we want to do is create a tree diagram, because it's going to allow us to um, visualize things very easily. Now, whatever the thing, sorry, whatever event affects the other one, that's the thing that comes first in your tree diagram, okay? So because the wind affects our goals, the wind is going to come first, okay? So whether it's windy or not depend, like affects the goal. So if it's windy, uh, Addison can either kick a goal or not kick a goal, right? And if it's not windy, same thing. He can either kick a goal or not kick a goal. There's no other options here, right? Because it can be windy or not windy, but there's no other options. There's only those two. And then he can either kick a goal or not kick a goal. So there's only those two as well. Now, the probability that it's windy is 60%, right? It told us that there was a 60% chance of wind, which means that we have a 60% chance for it to be windy. Uh, and I'm just going to convert this to a fraction because we don't have our um, calculator. So 60% as a fraction is 3 and 5. And if there's a 60% chance of wind, that means there's a 40% chance of no wind, right? So 40%, and that's the same as 2 and 5. Now, if it's windy, the chance that he scores a goal is 2 and 7, right? Which means that if it's windy, the chance to not score a goal is 5 and 7, okay? Because these two added together must equal 1. If it's not windy, Addison has a 3 and 4 chance to score, uh, which means, excuse me, that he has a 1 in 4 chance not to score. Right? This is our tree diagram set up, and this is actually our first mark. So I would give a mark for this if I was marking this. Uh, next thing is we are looking for the probability that he kicks a goal on any given Sunday. Okay, So we're looking for the probability uh, that he kicks a goal here or here. right? Because here it's windy and he kicks a goal, or here it's not windy and he kicks a goal. So these are the two outcomes that we're looking for. We don't want these outcomes because these aren't kicking a goal. These are not kicking a goal. So what we can say is the probability that he kicks a goal is equal to the probability that it's windy and he kicks a goal or the probability that it's not windy and he kicks a goal, right? So then we can say that uh, this, this pathway, WG, uh, the probability of that happening is this probability times this probability. So 3 and 5 times 2 and 7. And then the probability of this happening is 2 and 5 times... Uh, our goal, which is three and four. Awesome. I'm going to rub this tree diagram out. So if you want to copy that down or you need to look at it, please do that. Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to rub that out because we're going to need that. <clears throat> um, I'll just write it here. So this is equal to um, six on 35 plus six on 20. And what that comes out as is... 33 on 70. So 33 on 70 is our uh, second and final mark for this question, guys. Um, keeping in mind that you don't have a CAS, so please don't use it for this. It's good, really good to get in the habit of doing these fractions in your head uh, and by hand. So guys, that's it for part A. Uh, let's move on to part B. Part B is uh, simply a one mark question and asks us to find the probability that it's windy two Sundays in a row. Now, we have a 60% chance of wind on any given day. Uh, so, if it's windy the first day, that's a 60% chance. And if it's windy the second day, that's also a 60% chance, right? Or the second Sunday, I should say. So, first Sunday, second Sunday. Now, this is also can be written as 3 and 5. If it's uh, windy on both of these days, the probability of that happening is this times this which means that the probability of it being windy twice is equal to 3 on 5 times 3 and 5, which is equal to 9 on 25. That's our first and only mark for part B. 
So guys, that's it for part B. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but for now, let's move on to part C. Part C is a bit of a tricky one because um, we have to identify what we actually need to do. So this is a two mark question. <clears throat> and what it says is on a particular Sunday, Addison takes one shot at goal and successfully scores. What is the probability that uh, it was windy that day? So what we're basically saying is what's the probability that it's windy given that he get he got a goal that day, right? Because it says he takes one shot at goal and successfully scores. So we know that he's scored that day. Then it's asking what's the probability that it was windy. So according to our uh, conditional probability rule, probability that W given G is the same as W intersect G over the probability of G. Okay. Now the probability of W intersect G, the way to find this on a tree diagram is you look at your pathways and you find the one that has W and G in it, right? So we find our W, which is this one, and then also our G, which is this one. So we want this path. Okay. So the probability of that happening is just this times this, right? So we get three on five times uh, two and seven, uh, and that's our top part over the probability that he probability that he scores. Now in part A, the probability that he scores was thirty three on seventy, which is exactly what we need to do. So this is thirty three on seventy here. This is our first mark. Okay, so we've figured out how to actually work this out, and we've set up the equation. Uh, now I'm actually going to rub out this tree diagram. If you want to copy it down, just do so now, uh, and I'm going to rub that out. Now, uh, evaluating all this, 3 and 5 times 2 and 7 is 6 on 35. And we're dividing by 33 on 70, which is the same as 6 on 35 times 70 on 33. Uh, and this 35 and this 70, that can cancel to a 1 and that cancels to a 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 33 is 33. So our final answer is 12 on 33. So probability of Windy, given that he scored. 12 on 33 is our final answer for part C. Uh, and that actually wraps up MM405, guys. So if you have any questions, as always, hit me up in the comments below. But otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.